G'day cobbers and welcome back to another dive down a rabbit hole and remember to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the latest random facts. What can you say about this guy? He is a weed. You know what? I was going to do a segment about Scott, but no, like a fire, he deserves no oxygen. So instead I'll do the segment about Chester Bennington. Chester Bennington was an absolute legend, being in bands such as Linkin Park, Dead by Sunrise and the Stone Temple Pilots. His voice was unmistakable, powerful and yet modest at the same time. He was in a league of his own with it. I mean, honestly, trying to write this segment is bloody hard with all the feelings growing up with Linkin Park in my formative years. Trying to properly do a segment about Chester is impossible. The man was a legend gone far, far too early. Here's to you, Mr. Bennington. Born in Canada in 1861, James Naismith created what is easily one of the biggest sports to have ever existed. He was born on a farm in Alt, Mont Ontario and taught phys ed in Montreal until 1890, before he moved to Springfield, Massachusetts and designed basketball there in 1891. So yes, basketball was invented by a Canadian, but it was also invented in the good old USA. Also, the reason there is a backboard is because people used to reach and knock the ball away when people were shooting, and it's also there to stop the ball from going into the stands. <laughs> Yakko, Wacko, and Dot, the three mischievous, whatever the frick they are was created by Tom Rugeru for Fox before it moved to the WB in 95. An odd bunch of siblings, they went for 99 episodes, yep, 99, in their first run from 95 to 98. Oh, ironically, 95, 98, 99. The Animaniacs were also seen alongside Pinky and the Brain, Slappy Squirrel, Ralph the Security Guard, and more. But what has always stuck out with me were two things. The Country of the World song that's playing right now. And uh, fingerprints, uh, take that as you will. Yeah. Yeah, they pushed me on, faced me. <laughs> speaking of Prince, he was a genius, and I'm speaking an absolute genius. Whatever you may have thought of him, this cannot be denied. He could play at least 27 instruments, at least. Oh, and he only put out 29 studio albums, four live albums, and he has a music vault with over 50 fully produced music videos as of 2016 that hadn't been released. This is from a man who only stood 1.6 meters tall or 5 foot 3 which is about the same height as uh, Kevin Hart. Which just goes to show you big things come in small packages. Not, not the way we're talking about Prince's package or Kevin's package for that matter. <clears throat> the second biggest city in Bulgaria. This city's history spans over 8 millennia so it's only half as old as Bob Newhart. It remains one of the oldest inhabited cities in the world and it's kind of close to Istanbul which was kind of founded around the same time. Plovdiv has settlement traces including necropolises dating from the Neolithic area, roughly uh, 6 to 5,000 years ago, in the uh, mounds like Yasatepe 1 and Pilpolvo district and Yasatepe 2 in Lauda Park. It's located kind of like a crossroads between Asia, Europe and Greece so you know this place has seen its fair share of people. And that's the end of this humbling video. Two genius artists, an old city, some weirdo cartoon characters and balls. So if you did like the video, do give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. And on that note... When someone falls, what do you do? When someone falls, what do you do? That's right, people.